Well, good morning and welcome to Rovelli's Daily Podcast. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. It is uh, strange weather. <laughs> strange days, my friends. Strange days. It looks like it is getting windy and stormy and I was supposed to go golfing today, but I don't know. It's looking kind of iffy. <laughs> it's not good to golf in the wind. It's not good to golf in thunderstorms either. Just saying, I, I remember that scene from Caddyshack. Do you guys remember that scene from Caddyshack? <laughs> anyway, um, so I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be going or not, but it's cloudy outside. Uh, there's a chance of thunderstorms today, and it's uh, the wind's picking up. Even if it was cloudy, that's a great day to golf, right? It doesn't have to be sunny, but if the wind's blowing, you know, my shot's bad enough as it is. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, welcome to Roe Valley's Daily Podcast. Have a sip with me, won't you? Cheers. Oh, man, I am. That's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> I had this in case I have to leave quickly after the podcast uh, so I can take my coffee with me. I got to have it with me. Anyway, I um, hope you guys had a great day yesterday. We did. We want to thank everybody for coming out and dining with us. So we really appreciate it. Another busy day and uh, we're grateful. So thank you very much. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is our features today. Um, but before we get, get into the features, I want to tell you that the July 24th is coming up. Did you notice? Did you check your... <laughs> did you check your watch? Well... Why am I checking my watch? That's old school. <laughs> Did you check your smartphone? It is July 24th is just around the corner. It's Friday, as a matter of fact. And um, I don't know if uh, people are leaving town or doing something special. Um, I know that there's not uh, any huge events going on, uh, at least that I'm aware of. You guys may know something. If you do, post it and let's, uh, let's find out. But um, if you're not going anywhere, not doing anything, but you still kind of want to celebrate the 24th of July, um, Row Valley's is a great place to do it. So here's our theme for the weekend, okay? We're doing the Spaghetti Western. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with what the Spaghetti Western is, I'm going to share it with you. Uh, I'm kind of, I don't want to say a movie buff. I don't know what that term means, buff, buff, but uh, is it this? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I like movies and, and I really like vintage and old, old style movies in particular. Um, and the Spaghetti Western, uh, there was a time when, and I don't know the director's names or the writers, uh, but they were all Italian and they were getting into the Western movie making business. And uh, they did a pretty good job, I have to admit. They did a pretty good job. And uh, a lot of those movies, they... Um, Got some of our best actors, like Clint Eastwood was in a lot of them, Lee Van Cleef. Um, uh, there's another one. Anyway, one of the one of the classic spaghetti westerns was uh, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. And if you've never seen that movie before, check it out because it's really cool. It's some of the best uh, staring close-ups that you've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> but... Um, and they and they did, um, you know, the the Western music. They had it in uh, dusty deserts, and and um, and they had um, Italian actors playing. Um, and sometimes their voices were dubbed because they didn't know how to speak English. <laughs> um, but they and then they would dub the English actors into Italian for the Italian market. But their their shows or their movies were always really good, and and so that's what a spaghetti western is is a a western movie uh, created and made and directed by Italianos. So, what better fitting, right? We have the best of both worlds. We got Rovales Ristorante Italiano, okay, and we've got the 24th of July celebrating uh, Pioneer Heritage and so on and so forth. So. Um, we decided let's do, you know, not, we're not going crazy or anything like that and doing, you know, all kinds of stuff like that, but I am encouraging you to wear a cowboy hat. <laughs> if you're, if you're coming in on Friday or Saturday, wear a cowboy hat. That's cool. I might, I might wear a cowboy hat at Row Valley's. Can you believe that? <laughs> I got a great one. Anyway, so we're going to kind of have a Western theme at Row Valley's, uh, and I've picked out some great uh, Western music, some old vintage stuff that's really cool. And, and I'll, I'll give you a little secret on one of them, okay? <laughs> it is Rawhide. 
not the Blues Brothers version, but the original version. And uh, so I'm, I'm picking out some um, some music for the for the day so you can listen to and get into the feeling. And if you're wearing a cowboy hat, you're really getting into the feeling, right? <laughs> if you have chaps, bring them. It's going to be a little warm, but bring them anyway. <laughs> anyway, so we're celebrating at Row Valley's and we're doing um, a special dish uh, for the 24th weekend, and that is our chef row. That is a half mazithra cheese on spaghetti and half meat or veggie sauce on the uh, on the other side of the uh, platter or the, pl the plate. And it's a really, really good dish, a customer favorite, and a lot of people order that dish. So we decided let's make that our spaghetti Western dinner, okay? Our uh, campfire dinner. <laughs> anyway, so if you're looking for something to do, and we know you're hungry, we know you're going to be hungry, um, we're just bringing all the best of, of all the worlds together. The, the music, the soundtrack, like to the Spaghetti Western, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's in there too. I don't know the name of that one. Um, and, um, and delicious food and friends and... Um, and celebrating the 24th of July. There you go, the whole, all weekend long. Anyway, so that should be a lot of fun. And um, we have the patio open as always, you know. Um, we also are gonna be serving some great cocktails. And if you're not a, a drinker, as the in the term of alcoholic drinker, um, we do have a whole bunch of uh, non-alcoholic drinks for the family. We got great Italian cream sodas. We got all kinds of delicious um, drinks for you. And uh, so whatever, whatever it is that you want to drink, we can probably manage it, <laughs> except, uh, you know, uh, certain things we can't do, of course. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're, we're planning on something like that. And today uh, we're going to go ahead and kick off the Chef Row. We're starting early. Um, so if you want to order the Chef Row, that's going to be available. That's available every day, but that's going to be my feature. And let me tell you some of the other stuff that we're doing. Um, we still have the lavender blueberry cake. That one's a really super uh, delicious cake. Chocolate stout. I don't have too much of the chocolate stout left, um, but, uh, you know, first come, first serve. There you go. And the butter pecan pie cake in. That's still going strong. Very, very delicious cake. And uh, the new one today is the German chocolate cake. Super, super rich, super, super moist. And I'm saying super way too much. So you know what that means. I'm going off the rails. Take a drink. Pull it back. There we go. And I promise not to say the S word again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Feature cocktail. Kim went up to the mercantile uh, store on um, 30th and Wash 40th and Washington and picked up two large containers of uh, lime sherbet for the vodka lime Ricky cocktails. And we also have the adult raspberry iced tea um cocktail with bourbon that's really good we've got uh, really good uh, responses to that one as well um and i'm starting to like bourbon yeah well i i have liked it but i like it in this cocktail and then we also are featuring our moab dead horse uh amber um and we i don't know if you guys know this but we have 12 beers on tap and we got some great great beers um so we've got ice cold beers cocktails um, fresh lavender lemonades. We got all kinds of uh, delicious drinks to cool you off and uh, should be a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, let's see what else we have. I think that's about it. So my wife is trying to uh, uh, plan a birthday celebration for me because uh, at the end of the month, July 31st is my birthday and she's been working really hard. Uh, it's kind of tough because a lot of things aren't open and you know, it's just, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> anyway, but what she did plan was uh, for a following Sunday, we get to go up to um, Bear Lake. We rented a boat and we're going to invite uh, the whole family up. Um, Andrea and her family and Felicia and her family. And we're going to go on the boat and we got a big tube that we've, uh, we're going to pull behind the boat. We're going to, we picnic, we've done that before, uh, a few times before, and it's a lot of fun. Um, and we usually go to the east side of the lake and just kind of hang out there, uh, have a picnic, you know, eat a, eat a sandwich and uh, play with the tube and just jump in the water and, and enjoy each other's company. 
And so I'm looking really forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then um, this weekend, um, or this, let's see, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, she's got something planned each day. So she's, she spoils me. What can I say? <laughs> I'll take it though. I'll take it all day long. Anyway, uh, so that's what we have for you guys today. Yeah, that wind's kicking up. I'm not sure. I may have to call and cancel my golf, my golf date, and then we'll have to uh, reschedule for another day. Uh, we'll see. I'll give it another. I'll give it another 30 minutes. How about that? <laughs> you guys don't care. <laughs> what am I thinking? What am I doing? Who knows? Anyway, you guys, um, I want you to. Uh, have a great day. I'd like you to join us for, you know, when it's windy like this, okay, it's perfect to have lunch at Row Valley's. When it's windy like that, and if there's some thunderstorms, it's perfect for dinner at Row Valley's, okay? So Row Valley's is kind of the shelter that shelters you from bad news, from bad weather, from, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> But uh, you come in for lunch or dinner today, and um, we uh, open at 11 a.m. And you can also, we're still doing curbside, always doing curbside. And you can go to rovalleys.com, R-O-V-A-L-I-S.com, or you can call us at 801-394-1070. And uh, we'll be glad to run our run your food out to you. Um, but if you want to come in and dine in, uh, it's perfect. You know, our tables are, spa are spaced far enough apart to where you don't feel, you know, nervous about getting too close to people. So uh, we, we have it spread out pretty well. Um, and most people that come in and I check with them, too, is, you know, I check. Are you comfortable? Do you feel OK? Do you feel comfortable here? And I don't want to say most people, everyone that I've talked to said, yes, it's been very nice. I've never heard anybody say, I don't know, it's a little crowded in here or there's too many people. I don't feel comfortable. I've never heard that, um, you know, so everybody that I've checked with uh, seems to be very comfortable at Row Valley's. And um, you guys already know uh, the cleanliness, cleanliness that we have there of, uh, you know, wiping down door handles, countertops. And we write, we wipe down every chair, even if there's two people sitting at a party, uh, you know, uh, a table with four chairs doesn't matter. We wipe everything down and desanitize everything or not desanitize, sanitize everything. And, um, and so we're really, really careful there because we want you, you know, the world is, it's a, it's a chaotic place right now. It, it is every, it seems like everywhere you turn, it, it's a chaotic place. And, um, but we, we like to think of rural valleys as kind of like an oasis, a, you know, a refuge, if you will, uh, from from a crazy world. And uh, so we do everything in our power to make sure that you guys feel comfortable, that you guys feel welcome, and that you feel appreciated. Um, that's what that's part of it, because you, you can eat anywhere, right? <laughs> you can pull up to a, a drive through window and, and eat anywhere. But uh, even if, you know, you know, what's interesting, I just got a, a review yesterday, that um, that thanked us for for be, for being so courteous in our curbside service, and that says a lot. I mean, if you're just picking up food and somebody takes the time to send you a little review on uh, how kind the person was that brought out the food for the curbside service, man, and that's something to boast about. You know, that's something I'm I'm proud of our team. Uh, you know, I, I'm not afraid to boast about that because I think that's cool. I think that's awesome that. Uh, we pay that much attention to detail um, that, you know, that people write good stuff like that about us just for getting a, a, a package in a bag and handed it, handing it through the window. Um, I can't say enough about that. That's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, you guys, I've droned on and on and on, and that's all I have for you today. Um, but I do have, uh, I do, I believe I have an interview tomorrow. So, uh, we're going to work on that and I'll leave that. I'll post some in, more information about that later, but uh, I'll leave that for tomorrow. And you guys have a super day. We hope to see you at Row Valley's for lunch or dinner today. And once again, I want to thank you for everything that you do for us because we appreciate you. All right, you guys, we're going to let you go and have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay wise. All right, you guys, ciao for now. We'll see you on the flip side. Whoop.